arati. Lights are waved while mantras are chanted. This denotes that the Lord is Jarupi Swarupa, whose real form is light. The Lord is Dyoti Swarupa, excuse me, whose real form is light. The devotee says, O Lord, thou art the light in the sun, moon, and fire. Remove the darkness in me by bestowing your divine light. May my intellect be illumined. So, I'm going to read this prayer called Arati uh, from the Shivananda Kirtan book. So Shivananda is a Hindu monastery in the Catskills that uh, I have spent some formative periods of time in my life at. And um, this is, this is a, a universal prayer that they recite at the end of satsang every night. Um, and I've recorded it on the channel three or four times now. Um, with no explanation, and I thought now um, an explanation should be given. So um, I'm going to read the text that's here, and then I'm going to go through the text, the, the actual. Um, I'm going to go through the actual prayer in English, and tell you what it means, and then I'm going to record myself reading it in Sanskrit. Um, yeah, so, um, this video I'm just going to read the introduction and then there'll be a new video for the next one. Okay. Lighting of camphor denotes that the individual ego should melt like the camphor, and the jivatam, in, sorry, and the jivatman, and the jivatman individual soul should become one with the supreme lord of lights, Jyotwi, Jyoti Swarupa. Prasad is the sacred food offering of the Lord. The devotee offers sweet, rice, fruits, milk, and other such articles. After offering them to the Lord, they are shared among the devotees. The mental bhava attitude is very important. So that word Lord, uh, I have a whole other video on the Vyahafta um, that um, maybe one day there will be a link to that video in this description of this video. Um, but I have a whole video in the Vyahafta about the, the use of the word Lord, um, because it's a really problematic word. But uh, I'm not going to get into that explanation of why, why I'm reading the word Lord here, or how we could replace it, because uh, that's not really the point of this. But that's the only time the word Lord comes up in all of this, so we're just going to ignore it from now on. Um, here's, the, here's the critical part, last paragraph. Don't neglect outward symbols. They are very beneficial. When viewed from the right angle of vision, you will find that they play an important part in your material as well as spiritual life. Alright, so now I'm going to read the prayer, and then I'll tell you what it means.